Got you. Okay, explains a lot. You, you know what's interesting because, you know, and I often say this, you, you, you never know because we all, we, we, we travel this journey and this journey called life. And so much of what we go through, whether we understand it or not, it's actually preparation for what's to come. Mm -hmm. And just judging by how you were brought up in your relationship with your parents, I know as a boy and as a young mm -hmm. man, you probably looked at them and was like, yo, you know, I I, I would have much love, much rather been in a different type of family, in a loving environment, um, something as we would, you know, you see on the Huxtables or, or, yeah. or any of them shows that's out there. But based on the life that you lived, it almost feels like you were groomed from an early age to deal with all that you have seen in your lifetime. Oh, yeah. I'm um, looking back at it now, like, I'm thankful for how they were. I wouldn't be the person I am today. I don't think I would have taken the same path I, you know, I took at a young age. I would be way different. And I don't know if that would be for the good. I don't know if it would be for the bad. But I wouldn't be, I don't think, built the same to deal with the certain things that I had to deal with. It, that would be completely different. I wouldn't have the same drive, the same motivation the same desire to do things that I did if it weren't for my upbringing, 100%. Yeah, I got to believe that. Like, like you, you know, they say pressure busts pipes or creates diamonds. Um, a, a lot of the pressure that you went through, you were psychologically, mentally, and physically prepared for it because you were groomed from it for mm -hmm. from, from such an early age. Um, what type of student were you? Bad. Um, <laughs> started, started off okay and like, the first, second, and third grade. After the or during the third grade is when things like took a took a downward turn. I used to want to be an astronaut. So I knew good grades were a big, you know, portion of that, um, being good in school. So from first until the third grade, that was my dream. I wanted to be an astronaut, fly on a spaceship. Um, uh, my dad loved space. He raised me with, you know, looking at history channels, space. Uh, shows and stuff, making homemade rockets. Um, but third grade, it was when school, I don't know if it got tough. It just wasn't like something I, I enjoyed. I didn't feel like I was learning something from it. It's not what I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn about how to make rockets and how to make rocket fuel. And they were teaching me about stuff I could care less about. So after the third grade is when my grades took a dive. And it was a struggle from elementary school until graduation. It was a struggle. Uh, yeah, a, a, a deep struggle of almost failing, about to fail. Um, it was a bad struggle, but it's weird. I don't know. I look back at it and like I said, from the first into the third grade, I was doing all right. I was supposed to skip a grade, but my mom held me back. Um, mm. Yeah. And school got boring after that. And I just stopped paying attention. I wanted to hang around the bad kids, the troublemakers, the class clowns. I liked the energy they brought. I didn't like being so, you know, sit next to you or sit at your desk, do your schoolwork. I like to have fun. There's like all these kids in here. Why not have fun? That was my mentality. I like the energy they brought as opposed to like the, what we considered nerds back then. I like the energy that the class clowns brought. So I played along with that and became friends with the class clowns. And, and that was my whole gig from elementary to, to graduation. Um, in terms of graduation, what was your GPA? 1.7. Excuse me? Yeah, 1.7. You graduated with a GPA that low? Oh yeah, it was low, it was low. It was lower than that at one point. <laughs> All right. Um... You, you got two military parents. Uh -huh. You joined in high school. They got, what is it called? The ROT, ROTC? ROTC. Were you part of that? Oh, yeah. I was a part of ROTC my entire high school career. I was doing ROTC for the Army, and I was doing the Navy Sea Cadet Corps for the Navy. D during that, high school? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so at some point, you must have realized early, as much as I love astrology, as much as I love learning about what's going on in space and making jet fuel or rocket fuel, I'm going to I'm gonna end up in the military. I'm going to follow in my parents' footsteps. Mm-hmm. Is, is, is that accurate? Yeah, 100%. It was the third grade. Um, I got in trouble for, all right, I was plotting to... Uh, I used to want to be a hacker and all this stuff too as an astronaut, but I was trying to find out if aliens existed and I got in trouble in third grade, like dedicating my, you know, Thomas, I was in history class or learning about history in the third grade. And instead of paying attention, I was uh, plotting on how I was going to break into Fort Meade military break, uh, base, still an F-16 fighter jet and fly it over to area 51 and eject out and sneak into Area 51, and I got in trouble for that and uh, got held after school. Um, and I realized that you know, we had to talk about my grades. My parents came and had a discussion about where my grades were heading, and I just realized that I wasn't cut for that smart life <laughs> back then. So I just wanted to join the Army and, and join the military. Um, I was always like it, it, admired my dad's military uniform and his shiny boots and uh, on the weekends, he would watch like Chuck Norris, Delta Force, and I was intrigued by it. But at the time, space and being an astronaut was way more important. Um, that was until I realized that I just wasn't cut out for school. So I had to, you know, essentially drop that dream and looked at the next best thing. And I was like, you know, what else is pretty cool? Chuck Norris. Um, so I wanted to be like him in the Army and Delta Force. And I, I carried that dream from elementary up until I actually did it. Okay, where, where'd you grow up? Is it somewhere in Baltimore, Maryland area? Yeah, yeah, uh, near Baltimore, Maryland. I, yeah, Maryland. Okay, so much of your life has uh, revolved around guns, if mm-hmm. you will. Oh, yeah. It, was your dad or your mom one of those people who took you out shooting on the weekend? Did, did you develop a love for guns early in your life? Oh, yeah, I would say... We didn't go to the, sh- we had a shooting range um, like a mile down the street from where I grew up. You could walk there, um, but it costs money. And my dad and wasn't like trying to pay money for, you know, to me to go shoot. So we would wait until summertime. Uh, my mom's side of the family lives in a small place called Hogansville, Georgia. It's out in the deep country. And my granddad is a big hunter. He had, you know, close to a hundred different hunting rifles and guns and, I would wait out there and we would go out and shoot. Um, I was very young. 14 is when I had my first shotgun. My dad gave me his shotgun. Um, but I but was that your first actual gun? Yeah, my first gun like given to me was a shotgun. Um, but the first gun, I've been shooting guns ever since I was in sixth grade, uh, about sixth grade. Got you. Oh. My mom was never a big fan of it. Um, it was my dad. My dad, he didn't mind. He loved showing me how to shoot and how to fish. My mom was never like into that at all. She didn't want me to have a BB gun. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. I'll catch you all on the next video.